We have done so much today, but we still have a lot of supplies from the supply roundup left over, don't we? Well, it's time to use them all up. We need 18 small paper plates. Go ahead and get your paper plates. 18 is a really big number. If you don't know what 18 is, I'll show you one way to find out. Or you can ask your adult helper to help you count to 18. But I will show you this way. One, two, three, four, five. Can you count with me? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Again, if you're not sure, you can ask your adult helper to help you count to eighteen, or you can follow me on the video. Now we need 18, but you see I have two piles here. If you haven't counted to 18 before, it's okay. You can try it this way. You can make two piles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight in one pile. And then we can count to 10 in pile number 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And if you can count to 10, you put 10 in this pile, and then we have 8 in this pile, and that will be 18 altogether. It will be the same. If you still aren't sure, you can go back and count with me as I count out 18. And you can do it with me there. So we have our plates. And we also need our two toilet paper rolls. And we need two googly eyes. That is a strange group of supplies, huh? Well, would you believe we can make our very own armadillo toy with these? Let's see if our craft works out and turn these strange items into an armadillo. First, we need to take our paper plates and glue them together. And so we take our two plates like this and turn them like this and put them together like that. And then we can take our glue, get that out of your basic supply kit, and you can put some glue right around the edge, just like this, just a little bit. Oh. And take your other plate and put it on top so they match just like this. These are the edges, so try to put your edges together. And then you'll need to hold down on them for a little bit. Just like that. And set it aside. Then we get the next one. Do the same thing. Get two plates. One and two. And put glue on this one. And then push it together, just like this. And set that on top of the other one. Do it again. Get two more plates. Plates are also circles. Did you notice that? Circles around. Can you think of other things that are circles? And they go around. How about the little eyes? The little googly eyes. They are around. Circles. And we go 
around. All the way around. Just a little bit of glue. And when these other plates are setting, the glue will dry. It will help it to hold together better. Lots of plates, lots of circles. And there, that's our last group of plates. That's a lot of plates. Now what you can do, is go back to the beginning and put a circle of glue on your plate like that. Make it a swirly so it has lots of glue. And then put a plate on top of it and press down lightly. And do it again. This will help them help them all stick together. Just like that. And you can pause the video if you need to, while you catch up, it's okay. Put them together just like that. And again, don't forget to push down just a little bit. You don't have to smush it. And once you're all done, set it aside for a little bit to let it dry. But our armadillo doesn't look right yet, huh? Now our armadillo has a body. But no face, legs, or tail. I bet we can fix that. Take another plate to make a head and fold it over. And make a long snap shape. That looks like an armadillo head. And to hold this one together, you can either glue it, or if it's easier, you can get a stapler and staple it to help hold it together. And then, you can fold up the back of the head a little bit. I tore the edges just a little. So I can flatten it out and put it on my body. And then we can glue that too. So I'm going to turn the body like this and then glue it like that.
Now that your armadillo has a head, we want to give it an eye so it can see. Put a little bit of glue on the back of your googly eye and give, give it a little eye right about there. Just like that. And then you can give it, give it another eye on the other side. There, now our armadillo can see. What else could our armadillo have? How about a tongue? So our armadillo can find those bugs. You can take one of our paper plates and make a tongue. Like this. Just cut it out like that. a nice long tongue. And go around the edge and just like that. Now we have a tongue. Move it over so you can see it better. We can take our tongue Fold it over a little bit like that. And go like that. Take a little glue. Put a little glue on there. And then you can glue it in. There, her armadillo has a tongue. Now we can take this plate and make our armadillo a tail. Armadillos have tails too. So we can go like this, go around. We do a lot of, have a lot of circles. And that, it goes around. We just go like that. Go around. Just like that. And then you can also take a little glue, put it on the tail, and take your tail and turn it a little bit like this. Pull this piece this way, and this piece this way, and glue it, and then you have a curly tail. You can also staple the tail. Take your stapler and put it up near the top. And you can have a tail and don't have to wait for the glue to dry. And what about ears? We can make ears too. We can take our paper plate. Remember triangles? We can cut a couple little triangles. Put it on the head just like that. Very good. Did you see our triangles? Remember, they had three sides. One, two, three. Triangles make good ears. Would you like to give our armadillo some legs? I think he still needs legs. What do you think? We can get our toilet paper rolls. And then, we need to make these smaller. We have two, so you can flatten these out like this. And then, we want the legs to be the same size. So we want to make this into something called a half. We want to bend it over a little bit. And see how this side and this side is the same? You want it to be like that. 
and then you open it up. This is called the middle. It's about the same size. You can take your scissors and cut it down the middle. And that is in half. So we cut that in half. Do the same with the other one. Squish it down a little bit. And then gently fold it over. So bend it. So the, the ends are like that. They are the same size now. Or same length. Open it back up a little bit. And take your scissors. I have my green colored scissors. And cut a straight right down the middle. Now we can put on our legs. We can put on our legs just like this. Roll your armadillo over. And you can glue it or you can staple it. And if you wanted to glue it, you could put glue here and here. I'll do it so you can see it on the front and on the back. And then come to the back and put it in right there, just like that. And you could also staple it. And then turn it around. And you can put legs on the other side. Put them between the same plate so it's even. It will help your armadillo stand better. And then do the other leg. See, our armadillo has legs and it can stand now. Look how cute our armadillo is. Of course, it could use a nose. Get your little black colored puff. You can put a little bit of glue on it. Give it a little nose right there. Aww. Now our armadillo is hungry. Yum, 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 yum. I'm an armadillo. I'm hungry now. I think I'll find something to eat. Thank you for making me.